everybody, welcome to Brick Ball. My name is Jack and today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. There was a lot of big things that happened this week in LEGO, but by far I think the biggest story is Dimensions. The second year character packs have been announced. This is the LEGO Dimensions E3 trailer, and let me just list off all of the new themes that have been announced so far. By the way, I'm gleaning this information from Alan Tran at TheBrickFan.com, and if you want to learn more about this, I will leave links in the video description below. But anyways, there is Sonic the Hedgehog, Adventure Time, The A-Team, Mission Impossible, E.T., The Goonies, Knight Rider, The Powerpuff Girls, Gremlins, Beetlejuice, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and the new Ghostbusters team. It's pretty awesome seeing some of these characters in the E3 trailer, and I think I'm looking forward to Gremlins the most. By the way, I heard they're making a Gremlins 3 on the radio. Anyways, a few of these Dimension Packs are available for pre-order, so let's take a closer look at them. Here is the new Ghostbusters Story Pack. We've got one Ghostbuster here, a small build for the Ecto-1, and I believe this is a build of a gateway to a Chinese restaurant. The two coolest packs that I like are the Adventure Time ones. This first one features the Finn minifig that has a Jake mobile, and the next one has a full-on Jake minifig. The Adventure Time characters for the LEGO Ideas set has been approved, so maybe we're getting a look at some of the pieces that might be included in that idea set early, or these pieces might be something special, and the only way to get Finn and Jake minifigs is through these packs. Who knows, but here is the next character pack, and this is the first time we've seen anything from the Harry Potter series in LEGO for a quite a while. The minifigs include Harry Potter, Voldemort, and it looks like we've got the Hogwarts Express and a flying car. Mission Impossible has also made its way into LEGO. And here's a funny one I didn't expect, but we have the A-Team. The minifig is BA, or better known as Mr. T, and it comes with his van. If you want to pre-order these sets or just learn more about the new LEGO Dimensions packs coming out, once again, links in the description below. All right, the next biggest story is definitely with LEGO Ideas. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it's a website in which you submit your own LEGO creations in hopes to having it become an official LEGO set. This week, the third round of reviews has been approved, and now we know which new LEGO Ideas sets have been accepted. This first set accepted that I'm pretty darn happy about is the Beatles Yellow Submarine. It includes the four Beatles in minifig form, and we get a build for their Yellow Submarine as it is depicted on their album cover. Congratulations to Kevin Zetto for being accepted for the idea sets, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how LEGO redesigns this final sub. The next set with the rare honor of being produced for LEGO Ideas is the Apollo 11 Saturn V. Sab fan and What's Up Today created a giant rocket, the rocket used to send man to the moon. One thing I didn't realize about this build until I heard it on the announcements is that this rocket is one meter tall. That is a massive build and I'm really glad LEGO went with this one. You might think that's it for our idea segment, but there is actually one set that did receive 10,000 votes and is now going to be put into the next review stage. This is the Adams Family Mansion by adult fan of LEGO 777. For those that don't know The Adams Family, it's a movie that came out back in 1991, and it's a great dark comedy that is full of slapstick that can be enjoyed both by adults and children. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a great movie. Back to the build. It's 7,000 pieces, which makes this thing absolutely massive. And as you might expect, all of the inside rooms are very well furnished. Moving on in LEGO news, there is an Empire Strikes Back character pack for the Star Wars Force Awakens video game. More specifically, there is just a trailer that's been released for it. I'm not gonna go through the whole trailer, but the characters that you can play as are White Boba Fett, Dengar, Bosk. You can also play as Ugnaughts, as well as some of the classic characters like Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. Also, Brickset revealed a picture for a poly bag. This is the London Bus 40220. Nothing is listed for how it is going to be released yet, but it is a pretty nice looking mini build. All right, and the last story that I'm gonna get into before our custom creation segment, I think is probably one of the most important stories we've had in a while. And that is that the long awaited update for the website Bricklink has finally come. For anyone that is regularly buying and selling Legos or frequenting the website Bricklink for any reasons, the decades old user interface has finally been changed to something a lot more efficient. By far the best feature of the site, at least in my opinion, is being able to use the cheap search tool that allows you to order everything on your wanted list in one foul swoop, or it at least points you in the right direction. For anybody that is a custom builder, this will save you lots and lots of time if you're ordering parts. And personally, I hope this newfound accessibility will make it easier and more inviting for new LEGO users and builders to create the things that they want. All right, and on that note, let's move on to our custom creation segment. And this is basically where I get to talk about some of the cool custom creations I happen to see throughout the week. This first one is UNSC Mantis by Velocities. This is a mech from Halo 4, and I gotta say this mech in particular stands out just a little bit more than a lot of the other LEGO mech builds I've seen recently. 
proportionally it looks great, and this is a very good design for legs. Even a regular stance still looks pretty dynamic, and it really gives the effect that this machine could pounce or even run. Altogether, the build has just a lot of nice curves mixed in with some hard, straight edges, and it feels very complete. I don't see LEGO instrument builds very often, but this trumpet build by Gree really caught my eye. I believe it is scaled to the same size as a real trumpet, and it looks like a lot of time and effort went into this build to give it just the right amount of curves that it needs. Also, this guy made a saxophone, and you should definitely check out both of those builds. Here is another mech. This one is called Sideswipe, and it's by Mortal Swordsman. But as you can see, even with his thin limb joints, that he can be posed pretty dynamically. Also, Mortal Swordsman made this really awesome Ferrari build. He manages to keep the sleek line from the hood running all the way across the roof and down the back. It's a great, distinct, iconic car shape. And some of you might have guessed probably immediately that this mech and the Ferrari are one and the same. I feel like transforming mech cars just look better and better as the years go by. It feels like some designers now have really perfected this craft, and it would be great if one of these things passed through LEGO Ideas sometime. Our last build of the week is an architectural one. This is Santa Ana del Garamela by Arthur Gugic. No special pieces were used in the making of this build, but looking closely, you can see many common pieces used in very special ways. The patterns created by using all of these basic pieces in close conjunction really give the impression that this building has fine stonework all around the outside, even at such a small scale. All right, that is it for this episode. Remember to tune in same time next week for another LEGO Weekly News update. And if you want to learn anything more about stuff I was talking about in this episode, there's links below in the description. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy our content, feel free to subscribe, and we will see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah!